Hey guys, what's up? It's Dusty here, back with another crypto video. And as you can see right now in your screen, the Tron testnet is going to launch in seven hours. But I do want to warn you guys with some price changes. So let's quickly go over that. All right, guys, so if you're new to the channel or if you're not, check out the Discord. It's still a very good place. Um, today hasn't been the best day for coin signals because it's a very, very bare market. Let's actually look it up here. Um, if you actually go into the market cap, you can see it's doing very, very bad. Uh, right now, it's a little bit up, but still 7K, you know, very far down from what we were at a few days ago. So, you know, it's all still adapting towards the um, old price, but that's why you're not seeing the you know, most signals that you could. But uh, there's a little bit more in premium signals, but you can still check it out. It's totally free. You can make a nice amount of profit with it. So be sure you check it out. And don't forget that I'm doing the giveaway on Twitter. So let's actually open it up real quick. $500 when I hit 500 uh, followers on here. So be sure you check it out. So let's actually get into the content. And the shocking news here is that I've been seeing so many videos on YouTube claiming that Tron is actually going to go up to the moon today. So within the seven hours, I don't know how. Um, and that everybody should buy in and just, you know, hop on the road to riches with Tron right now. And I just want to actually warn you guys that you should maybe not. Okay, so I am holding, you know, a nice amount of Tron, not trying to FUD Tron at all, but just trying to prepare you guys that the price is most likely not going to change that much. So we actually saw this before. And we actually saw this in an article that I covered in my latest Tron video. So not the funny one, like the, like the oh my God, Tron and Ripple are going to hit $12 soon. That was just one for fun. But the one that I covered in Tron Moon, where I also explained that Tron is most likely not going to go as far as some of you guys expected. So if you've been watching the YouTubes, you would have known that people were saying that Tron would maybe hit 20 cents, maybe hit 50 cents a dollar today. And I already told you guys in the Discord that it won't. And we can actually see that back in the price that right now it's not even going up too much. But what we're most likely going to see tomorrow is the price even going down. So why is that? Let me quickly recap what we've seen here and what we're most likely going to see. So what we've seen is Justin Sun. So let's actually open that news from Justin Sun here. Uh, this is the Tron Foundation Twitter. And we actually should open the Justin Twitter. So we can press it right here. What we've seen is that Justin has been promoting the crap out of Tron. Okay, so about the test net, he's been promoting everything out of it. Even on the normal Tron Twitter that we saw just now, you can see that it's just everything is about the test net. And what the con to that is, is that many people already knew about this test net coming and already adapted onto the new price, so to say. So from right here, so that's about 11 days ago. The coin or actually the testnet had already been announced. Okay, so we can actually see a big price increase of 25% or actually a little bit more, maybe even 33% towards the four and a half cent mark uh, from the three cent mark ish. Okay, so let's say about here you started promoting it and it raised, uh, you know, one and a half cents, maybe even 50%, then I guess. But right now, I guess it's at the peak of its performance. So two days ago, it was at the peak. And why is that? That is because what we established from reading the article a little bit uh, ago. We established that Tron has so many people who are invested right now who are actually waiting for this test net to actually get out because so many people bought back at this high price and are now waiting for a little bit of a higher price to sell their profit at. So many people think that this point right here is the highest point that we'll get for a little while until many people adapt to the uh, new decentralized blockchain and uh, actually start using it. So the, you know, the small people start to make their contracts on there and start to really use it. Right now, it could really go down tomorrow because so many people are going to sell uh, after the testnet launches. So many people say like, uh, buy, I don't even know the, 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 the thing, like it's buy the rumors, uh, buy the rumors, sell the result. I don't know, even know, you know, you can comment down below what the heck that is. I, I forgot right now, my English, you know, sometimes messes me up when I'm doing this kind of stuff. I actually want to know, is it buy the rumors, sell the news? That was it. Sorry, guys. Buy the rumors, sell the news. And that's really what a lot of people are going to be doing here. So a lot bought in. Let's actually look at the volume. You can see it has some little bumps here. And most likely just because Tron or Justin and Tron, I should say, just bumped that news out so much that people are having faith right now. But they're not really noticing that this whole blockchain will take some time to set itself up. Same with coins like Electronium that we saw. They really need time for people to adapt towards it because as we see here, it's something that should replace ERC-20 to a certain extent. I know, um, ERC I know it's not really what it's supposed to do, but... 
you know, we can just compare it to a certain extent, right? So um, with same with Electro or Ethereum, people, you know, build smart contracts on the blockchain, but it takes time. It takes time to actually develop coins or tokens on another coin or blockchain. And with Tron, we're going to see that people are actually going to build contracts on here, but it's going to take a long time for people to really establish it and for it to get popular amongst the normal users. So let me quickly here make an example for you. Most of the ICOs that you're seeing right now are smart contracts, so tokens based off the Ethereum blockchain. So mostly used with the like ERC20 or ERC20-23, uh, so 223, I should say. And a lot of those coins are built on that, but Electronium is built on Monero and Tron is built on itself, so to say. So it's really on its own and it actually wants to allow smart contracts. So BTC also allows smart contracts, but they're not popular and have a lot of faults, I should say. Ethereum is a lot better and has a lot more possibilities with smart contracts. And that's what we're seeing a lot with Ethereum. But Tron is really opened up for, you know, some really, I guess, a revolution sort of in the, the smart contract system. And uh, they want to be very, very scalable and have some lightning fast speeds and visa like stuff. So they really want to go for something to integrate with the real world. And I can see it doing very well over time. But right now, I don't think it's going to get too popular within a few weeks here. So we're just going to have to see people adapt to Tron. And that's going to gradually, you know, kick the price up. But tomorrow we might lose some money. And I personally i'm not going to sell my tron because i'm just going to hold everything for the long term because i you know i bought some at way cheap prices but also at some of the higher prices so i think my highest buy is like 700 satoshis but my cheapest buy is you know it's like worth it's like nothing you know my cheapest buy was somewhere around december i think so it was really 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 cheap and i am in very far profit okay don't don't worry about that but still one of my highest buys is i think 700 satoshis so at a loss from that point right here and I still want to sell for some more profit. I might have even bought some at 1300 Satoshis. I don't know. As you know, I bought a lot of Tron. I sold a lot of Tron. So I don't really know what the bags are from. But still, guys, um, if you're scared of Tron, you know, taking off tomorrow towards the upper side. So really, you know, getting bullish and getting crazy because BTC is going to go bullish again. You might just, you know, buy some from the tether that you stored up most likely today or earlier today when BTC hit 6600. Um, you know, you can buy back in and just hop the train right now. Might go back down. I think it will with some time here. So it might hit like 7,300 again. Those predictions are all in the Discord. You can check it out. But I think Tron is actually going to follow BTC a little bit now. We can see that it's actually down from Ethereum, which is kind of crazy. I wouldn't, I didn't expect this. I thought everything would just gradually go up right now uh, on Tron at least. But Ethereum is, I guess, rising a little bit more than BTC is, as you can see here. And Tron is rising a little bit less so yeah that's what we're seeing right now ethereum is at a whopping low but that is also because a lot of people are actually flooding the hell out of ethereum like people are saying the smart contracts on there are dying out and that the ethereum is kind of getting useless and so many fud so much fud going on and about and um you know it's it's kind of hurting the coin and you saw it here you saw it go down harder than most of the coins it's like it's down quite a lot more than btc is right now but that's of course logical uh, but there's a lot more to gain with this as well. Dash, by the way, is also very far down. It used to be a top, you know, top five coin. Right now, it's so far down. It's even going down lower. Uh, I actually have no idea what happened to this, but we were discussing that a little while back. But really, I have no idea why it's going so bad because I'm holding a few Dash coins and they were worth like $1,500 at a certain point each. Now they're only 300 and a little bit. It's like less than Ethereum. There was also a race for like which coin was going to get to 1k first. And I think Dash won it by far. Now Ethereum is actually higher than Dash, which is kind of crazy for me. I didn't expect that to happen. But yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's what you can see, guys. So I think that was it for Tron. I might have made some mistakes in this video, but you can just point it out in the comments below. I really like to know. And um. You know, I'm still working on my explanations and stuff because I don't write this stuff down for this video at least. So I really thought of everything out of my head and I hope that I made the message clear that the price might drop tomorrow and you should not be afraid of that. Um, it will, you know, gradually go up over time because it's a good concept and it's a good coin. Really some good technology behind it and I think we can really see some big, big prices in the future. I'm not going to do any predictions on this. I'm not too, not educated enough to actually do that kind of stuff. So really um just warning you guys for tomorrow but can really uh, have a solid future so let's quickly go to free btc.in roll grab ourselves some free satoshis 
we're at 16 or no it's actually like 10 dollars right now because the btc is so far down and the maximum amount of uh, btc every roll you could get is this if you multiply a little bit so we're just going to leave that multiplier on and uh, you know you guys can do that as well it's very cool and some of you actually still haven't registered to this and as i said before do it and invite people it's the best way to earn free money since here you know we earned 15 bucks and there was a time where i used to earn this daily okay so it's 15 dollars for not doing any work it's just from like people under me so referrals by um, them multiplying or clicking you know that's all you need to do is just basically make an account and click every hour or make people do that and it's basically how you earn money so it's really free no work at all i just do it every hour or actually not every hour but as many times as i can remember um, just to grab my free satoshis because it's worth it since it's free and it will be a lot more money over time when btc goes up so that is all my reasoning guys thank you for watching be sure you check out the discord and twitter and i'll see you tomorrow in another video